This video will cover the topic, Product Rule with Positive Exponents, Univariate. To multiply two expressions that both have variables and exponents, we can multiply the coefficients and then combine any exponential factors that have the same base. That sounds kind of confusing. Can we look at an example? Let's take a look at 4u squared times the quantity negative 3u to the fifth. You may recall that if you have two factors directly next to each other with nothing in between, it implies that they're multiplied. So we can rewrite this as 4 times u squared times the quantity negative 3 times u to the fifth. Even though there are parentheses here, since there are no operations besides multiplication, we can get rid of the parentheses. Also, since all of these factors are multiplied together with no other operations like addition or subtraction in between, they can be rearranged in any order. So let's try putting the numbers next to each other and the variables next to each other. We can first multiply 4 and negative 3 together to get negative 12. To multiply two factors with the same base but different exponents, like u squared and u to the fifth power, we can keep the same base and add the exponents together, right? Right. We can use the product rule of exponents to add the exponents of u, like this. 2 plus 5 is 7, so this factor becomes u raised to the 7th. We can now rewrite our final answer without the multiplication sign in between, and just the negative 12 and u raised to the 7th next to each other. Why don't we try another example? negative 2x to the 9th times negative 7x. Well, we can rewrite this as negative 2 times negative 7 times x to the 9 times x. Then, when we multiply negative 2 times negative 7 and use the product rule to multiply x to the 9th and x, we get 14 times x to the 9 plus 1. And that equals 14x to the 10. Great job working toward the final answer. Okay, so to multiply two expressions that both have variables and exponents, we multiply the coefficients and then combine any exponential factors that have the same base. Exactly. It sounds like you really understand the product rule. 